guys, I'm Farrah Brown and welcome back to my channel. How are you guys doing? I hope you're good, you're well, you're breathing, you're kicking and you're all of that good stuff. How are you guys doing? Um, I apologise for not having a video out last week. I was at an international Christian conference at um, Body of Christ Christian Centre and it was amazing. The theme of that programme was God is too faithful to fail and honestly guys, on the third day of that conference god really came through for me like like crazy so today's video is going to be a story time video so if you want to hear what i have to say in this story time stay tuned okay guys so what am i going to tell you today okay so basically about a week ago i passed my driving test on wednesday the 6th of april like that's huge honestly <laughs> it's so huge for me honestly because i've wanted it for so long and i know some of you are just like oh it's that back down it's just a driving test but no like literally i've wanted to drive since when can you start driving since the age of 17 18 but for some reason i would always get distracted i will start and then i will stop i will start and then i will stop it was just, there were so many factors. I think the first, the first um, driving instructor, he was, he was just a bit too much for me. And then I stopped and then, I don't know, I just basically, to cut long story short, I always kept on getting distracted. And that was, you know, I'm 25 now. I'm not really good at math. So I think that's about six, six, seven years or something like that, that I've been trying to get this license, but I finally, have it because god is too faithful to fail um it's so funny because the week before i was so down and i and i, I told you guys that in my in my last video run run your own race and i told you that by god's grace that i will come back in a better mood and a hundred percent i'm in such a good 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 mood um okay so let's give you the backstory of my driving tests and how it went and everything so basically yeah like i said for i was i wanted to drive for so long couldn't really um had the opportunities to learn and stuff like that but never really took it seriously why i didn't take it seriously i don't even know even to the point where my dad even got me a car to try and motivate me i think i was 18 then and i still was like no because in uh, i'm a little bit spot then i'm not gonna say on spot now but then i was like why should i i don't even know what the name of the car was but i was like why am i driving this and you're driving like a mercedes-benz convertible i just don't see why i should be driving that you know you can take the car back and you know since then my dad was like all right you know what you're on your own with this one and um literally since then i started university so didn't really feel the need that i needed to drive and stuff like that and then um but then i did do a little couple lessons in luton yes i went to university of bedfordshire <laughs> um and oh, i don't know guys this video i'm so happy honestly i'm so so happy because the struggle is real I think one of the things that um, kind of stopped me from not really taking it seriously was also somebody told me that, like, because I wear glasses, so somebody told me that if you don't read the number plate number properly, they're going to be like, oh, um, you can't, they'll just stop your test there and then. So I also had that fear factor in my head. But I guess a lot of things changed for me around 2013 um, when I have mentioned before that my dad did pass away. And since then, when he passed away, I was like, you know what, I need to do this driving thing. This is, I, I really need to get on it. So I started to do my lessons, did my theory test. I think, did my theory test maybe two years prior? It should be two years prior. So it was running out in 2013. And um, yeah, it was running out in September 2013. And so I was really rushing and I was getting there. It was come to the bit where I'm like, I should book my test. Um, and um, I don't know what's wrong with me. I don't even want to tell you the reason why I didn't book my test. But literally, um, I didn't book my test, guys. 
and it was for a very very stupid reason i don't really want to say why because like my mum is next door <laughs> but it was for a stupid reason and i didn't book it and then yeah i i suffered for it basically literally um so what year are we in now? Two, it'll be 2014. 2014, didn't do anything. Didn't really care about driving. I was, 2014 was a year for me to just do the things that I wanted to do and driving wasn't one of the things that I wanted to do. The main reason why I wanted to drive in 2013 was because of the business side of things that I needed to do. But um, it, did, it still didn't really interest me. So 2014 did my own things that I was about, me, myself and I, living my life, chasing my dreams and everything like that. 2015 comes and I'm like you know what I think I'm ready to drive so uh started in my lessons and my driving instructor he's so amazing he's really funny he's hilarious it's almost like it's a counseling session when I'm with him but <laughs> he's cool he started my driving lessons and um it was I still hadn't done my theory because my obviously my theory had run out or whatever so I needed to do my theory in October I did my theory test failed it by like one mark I was just like and you know I was so upset I was like oh this is not fair but I kind of stopped myself and I said you know what I'm not gonna cry on this I'm going to um, persevere I went home I booked the theory test again and I um, I passed it the same month on the 28th of October. So then I was like, all right, you know what? Let me do this um, this test. No, I need to do this test. Book my test for December 18th, um, which is a very special day um, to me and my family. And I booked that test on that day thinking that, you know, I'm gonna come up with good results and everything. Did the test, I was excited. I was nervous as well because I still had that thing in my mind about what if I can't read the number plate, blah, blah, blah. Um, and then um, I failed by one major. The examiner was like, do you know what, don't worry, come back, you'll, you'll be okay, you know, the next time you come back. Book the test in, um, in January now, January 13th. Um, and you know what, sorry, um, I just need to quickly insert this. January 1st, the new year of this year, 2016, I had a dream that I was going to pass my driving test. I saw me passing my driving test and oh my god, that's so crazy. And I saw that my the driving instructor was an examiner, the, the examiner was a woman. So I saw myself passing my driving test. So obviously, you know, then I was thinking, okay, I saw myself with a woman examiner. So maybe this is not, it's not, maybe I got it wrong or whatever. So um, January 13th. January 13th, 2016, I did the um, test and I failed miserably. This is my second time, guys, okay? Second time. And I was just like, oh, okay, I give up, literally. I was speaking to my sister, my sister was like, you know what, you can't give up. I spoke to my mum, mum's like, you can't give up. I spoke to my boy, he was like, you can't give up. I was just like, what am I gonna do? But in my head, I was like, you know what? Maybe this driving thing is not for me. And prior, before, when I, sorry, when I did the first test initially in December 18th, I actually um, crossed the road the day before and I twisted my ankle and I fell in the road and two cars almost hit me. And you would think I would pray about that, but I didn't. I still went on and did my test. So for me, looking back at it, it's like, do you know what? Yes, I'm meant to drive. And sometimes when you are trying to pursue something or trying to um, achieve something, the devil doesn't really want you to have it, do you understand? And he was trying me, but I didn't really clock on like that, do you understand? So I already, so by this, this, um, January 13th, I was like, you know what? I give up, I'm not doing this anymore. Um, got to church maybe and then the same week my pastor he was praying for everybody and he was saying you know what there's somebody there's a couple people here that you've tried something and it's not working but God said that it will work for you that he will come through for you I took that on and saying amen amen but then I still in my head I was like you know what I still give up and my homeboy hit me up he was like oh like when are you going to do this driving thing I was just like I will do it like get off my case like Chevy, you're the one that's driving already. Like, what's your own? This is me. You understand? So, 
he was like, no, you need to book it. I'll literally book it for you. I was like, no, 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 I hear you. I'm going to book it. I booked it and then my test came up on the Wednesday the 6th of April, not knowing that Wednesday the 6th of April 2016 will be my day. Um, so I booked it and I was so nervous. I prayed, I prayed, I prayed, I prayed with my pastor because it, it, was, it was really important that I do this. Um, and um, yeah, I <laughs> went for my test. The, oh, literally before your test, you have like an hour where you're with your driving instructor to practice or whatever. And then he takes you to the test and that wasn't going too, too well. I spent like, I did, to do reverse parking and I can do it, I did it in seven attempts. He was just, it was just a bit worrying. But I said, you know what? This is what the practice session is for so long as I don't do this in the test. And honestly guys, my examiner came out. It was a woman. Just like I saw, I saw in the dream, I saw in the dream and on oh my days, I just realised I've been looking at my viewfinder for so long. I'm so sorry guys. <laughs> um, it was a woman and um, yeah, I was happy about that and you know what, we, it was lovely, God just took control and there was so much traffic on the road anyway <laughs> and um yeah, by the time we got into the uh, back to the test, she was like, you passed, come and see my face. I was like, oh my God, I passed. She said, oh my God, you're going to start making me cry now. I was like, I don't think you understand. She was like, what, is this your first time? I was like, no, it's my first time. I wanted this so bad. So honestly, God has shown me that he is too faithful to fail me. And I want to tell you guys that God is too faithful to fail you. It might not be a driving test that you're trying to get. It might be something else and you pursued it for so long. Don't give up. Do not write yourself off. So many people, right, have told me, ah, oh, you're just a bus lady. When you have kids, you're going to take them on the bus or whatever. And you know what? I salute those mums that have kids that are taking them on the bus. And that, because sometimes it's raining and they're outside and the, the buggy bit is full. And that wasn't my portion. I didn't want that for me. And... The reality is, it's a lot of work, do you understand? Carrying children everywhere and blah, blah, blah. I don't want it to be a situation where hubby's like, I'm traveling today or doing this or whatever, whatever, and I'm struggling. No, I don't want it. I don't want this. So I thank God for everything that he has done because he's literally started a new standard in my life. Not only will my sons drive, but my daughter and my daughter, I mean my daughters, <laughs> they will drive too. So I just want to tell you that God is too faithful to fail. When everybody else is saying you can never do this, bruv, you better sit down and, um, what's the word? Sit down, rethink, strategize or whatever you need to do and make sure that you get what everybody has said that you cannot get because you are able to do it. You know, God, honestly, God is fake, too faithful to fail. I'm sorry, I feel like this is all over the place again. But um, you know what? It's a Sunday and I'm just so excited because I'm going to give test tomorrow neck. I'm going to give twist tomorrow neck. <laughs> I passed my driving test. Anyway, I love you guys for watching and I will see you in my next video, okay? If you like this video, if you like this story time. Oh, um, if for more story time videos, because honestly, I've got stories for days. Honestly, and I think, you know what, I, I want to share so much with you guys, um, and I think the best way to do that is in a story time. So if you do like this story time, give it a thumbs up, um, comment down below, uh, and subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys in my next video. I love you guys for watching. Bye!